or um, is that for me? Oh, that's the question. Oh, we're at that point already. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need that. Part. All right. Oh my goodness. So as you can tell, I got a little more glamorous. I didn't even look at my mic. Is my mic on all right? Yeah. <laughs> I seriously was like, oh my god, wait. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> you got a little sneak peek of what happens backstage. Okay. <sighs> so, to now we get to see uh, what? Thanks. I wish I could say the same, Sylvia. You hope I win? Oh, thanks. I've been trying every year. <laughs> um, we, yeah, speaking of which, we've had an amazing run of Miss Woods throughout the year, and I just can't, you're, thank you, Liz. Thank you, Lizzie, it's, it's all you. <laughs> what is, Sylvia, are you? <laughs> she needs another, oh my gosh. So, as I was saying, judges, as you can tell, I've gotten a little bit more glamorous, even though my hair isn't, no. <laughs> Whatever, I like it. Hold the hell me with it. She's gonna have no kill me now. <laughs> she didn't get a chance to te tease it, that's why I put it on too quick. Okay, anyway, we get to see what a Miss Woods, what the potential candidates, what they think, they're you know, they get to show us what their glamour is. We get to see a little bit of glamorous now. What? And uh, so they're going to come out. They're going to show off their evening wear. And then after they show off their evening wear, they get to pick a question. We have pre-written questions in the sorting wig. It's like the sorting hat. Yay, bitch! We have the, the wig there. We, they're going to pull out a, a random question. There's five questions that were pre-written before the show. And uh, I'm going to give them a mic and have them answer their question. And uh, this is the way they get to show their stage presence and, and glamour. So, let's bring out Betty Whitecastle. Come on, Betty. Very nice. Do a twirl there. Woo! I was supposed to read the info about what you uh, bring to the woods, but I'm just going to ask you. <laughs> there you go, hon. Grab that mic. I think I might have turned it on, actually. Uh, I do. <laughs> you get to pick the question from it. But before we ask the, the judge question, I actually want to ask... Um, one of the questions on the form that you submitted was what do you bring to, what, what are you going to bring to the woods that, you know, what's your specialty, what are you going to bring to the woods? Well, I have a, a major social media presence. Mm -hmm. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Facebook. You just have to make sure you get to the C in White Castle because there's another Betty out there that's quite famous too, and I'm not talking about Rubble. <laughs> ben, <laughs> Betty Rubble? <laughs> All right. I got, I got the, uh, the questions here. You got to randomly pick one and give it to me. All right. Yep, yep. All right. I'm losing the other ones. Get in there. Get in there. That's what she said. All right. Your question is, if you could educate the world about one thing about the Woods Campground, what would it be and why? I would educate the world about what a fabulous community this is. The Woods has been around for, oh, I guess around 15 years, and it is amazing the community that has been built here. A community of love and support for the LGBT community. I would use my social media platform to generate interest, to collaborate with the other uh, members here at the Woods Campground to promote this fabulous wonderful, inclusive, all are welcome, LGBT campground, and help take the woods to the next level. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Betty. 
All right. Let's see now. Contestant number two, Gloria Hole. Come on out and show us that glamour, girl. <laughs> You're literally dripping, dripping with diamond. Awesome. So, yes, on the application it asked you, um, you know, what are you going to bring to the woods? So what's, what unique thing do you bring to the woods? Comedy. Comedy. Because who doesn't like to laugh? all my life. And when he passed, the remarks of people whose lives he touched broke my heart. So, when it comes to that legacy, then that's what I'm going to do. All right, you get to pick a question from the wig, the sorting wig. I'll get to read it. You don't get to read it. All right. Gotta be a surprise. You okay. can't read? Huh? I can't. I, I hooked on phonics. Hua Atta. No. Who at the campground inspires you the most and why? I would say actually Gladys. Gladys just makes you laugh. I mean, she's, she's just Gladys. I mean, anybody that knows Gladys knows how she is. And without Gladys here, it would be a very sad time. Thank you so much, Gloria. All right, Gloria Holt. So next, contestant number three, Crystal Shade. Let's go up to the front of here. Woohoo! How you doing, girl? Is it on? Sorry. Good, <laughs> are you? Good. So, yeah, on the application, one of the questions I was asked was, what are you going to bring special to the woods? What are you going to bring special? Well, my uniqueness, my character, my charm, um, and my great customer service. Yeah. yeah, you work up there in the, the, the people in. Awesome. Well, here you go. There's three questions left in the sorting wig. All right. All right, Crystal. Here's your question. If you won the lottery, what would you give the campground and why? I would do a gym. Come on. Yeah. Every gay person goes to the gym. I know. Yeah. Most I know. Most. That's, I'm sorry. That's correct. Most. <laughs> I would say I would donate a gym. Along with an office, a computer lab. I think we need that. As a resort, just like most hotels, they have gyms, they have offices for, for our customers. Why not? Why couldn't we? So I would donate those two things. Oh, as a techie, I like it. Well, thank you so much, Crystal. Have a good one. All right. Crystal Shade. All right, contestant number four, Pheromones. Ah, 
dazzling. Sylvia, you feel? Dazzling, sparkling. There's a microphone for you. How are you doing? Oh, wait. Turned it on, sorry. Nope, other side. Nope. Oops. <laughs> that one. Okay, now you get it. There we go. Yay! <laughs> so, um, yeah, so on the application we asked, what do you bring to the woods that's unique? So, that's, I want to know, what do you do? That's unique. Um, well, I really have been lucky to meet a lot of people here at the woods that have become my family. And I've been able to work with these people as my family to raise money for different charities. I've been working with the Leather Group, and I'd like to continue to raise money for the different charities. All right. You got to reach into the sorting lake and draw the second to last question. All right. Yo. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Your question is, Vera. What is the one thing about the Woods Campground that surprised you when you first got here, and why? Well, definitely the head shed. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told me there was a head shed. Woo! But I've been enjoying it, to be honest. <laughs> I go in there and tell everybody they should not be doing the things they're doing. <laughs> and then they persuade me to do other things. <laughs> You moved just down there. So I, uh, you're right across the street. Now. <laughs> We're actually going to put a zip line on our site. <laughs> and you're going to see alongside the side of the building one of these of Larry. Thank you, Fair. Thank you. Contestant number five, Elizabeth Trailer. 